Okay, we're into draft. So, Poppy, uh, Draven, Silas, all banned. Okay, we got the Lucian Nami for Jackie Love and Mark. I mean, Jackie Love and Mark are normally pretty good at this side of the matchup. They definitely got the better of Hope and Missing in lane in the early games. And yeah, they just have the Lulu uh, Zeri. So yeah, Yumi ban, Lulu Zeri. Taken here, you have the Vi picked by Tian into the Zeri. Everything makes sense here. Now, normally you're going to see Ari ban from JDG at this point in the draft. Ari ban from JDG because they have Vi. And unless you really want to play Alessandra badly, which I don't really think Yagao necessarily does, I think you just take away the Ari so they don't have that little combo. Why do TS ban Renekton? I assume that they do it because um, you're going to get a first pick Renekton from 369. A lot of the time, they don't want to deal with it. Aatrox banned into Chingtian, which is one of Chingtian's specials. So I think they're going to try it. Yeah, look, Chingtian is even smiling about it. He's like, yep, well, we knew this was going to happen. Let's see what he plays now, right? Because Renekton and Aatrox are gone. Are we just going to get tank versus tank? Or will he play something special? Is there like anything specific that he's been playing that we don't know about? Okay, so the Ari and the Aatrox are both banned most of the champions at night is like gonna super carry the game on her band you go for the talia here i wonder what your gal is gonna go for into a talia all right these are these are the things that, that that you're you're asking questions about here like will they go something like a leblanc leblanc is not the best into vi because vi can just follow leblanc press r on leblanc normally then that means that leblanc will have to build azanias and you don't really want to have to build azanias on leblanc if you if you can avoid it they could just go lissandra regardless but i think lissandra is it's not the best into Talia. Talia normally can get the push past like level five whenever she wants and just is way easier to play in team fights. It's really up to Lissandra to get like big flanks, big engages. And I think that it just ends up being a super tank here. Orin, Sedge, and even Scion. I don't like, Kennen seems rough here. Okay. All right. So they went for the Kennen. Went for the Kennen blind. I mean, I feel like this, this can work, but like you are pretty susceptible to just getting calling on on anyone here like anyone gets called everything changes okay nar versus kennen they're opting into the nar versus kennen which is not something i normally like but it's weird because people in the west think this match was really kennen favored but a lot of times what you see in lpl is that nar wins out like later on so you kind of go 50 50 or a little bit less than 50 50 in the lane phase and then as soon as you get into like the mid game and nar just builds a wits end the whole matchup changes and suddenly nar is like solo killing the cannon inside so we'll see how this works i mean I, after this draft i think i'm favoring top esports for game one i have jdg 3-2 overall but yeah I, I think i have top esports here in game one i think that this is favored towards them they're looking for a potential dive here maybe they can do it Especially when we've been talking about night as well, getting picked apart. Has All right, been a bit of a who's tanking here? To the top clean, top clean as. Still though, that oh my god, bro. All right, on the other side of things, they're on to missing. Missing should die. Oh, maybe not. Wow, really? Wow, they burned three flashes and exhaust. They weren't able to kill him just heal and exhaust were enough i mean the the lane is not in a good spot and maybe that opens up some pressure bot but yeah i mean he just got one shot that's what i'm telling you bro like lpl dives are just hitting different like they just they just dive shit. welcome to the lane bro oh you want to play in finals okay come here come here you're gonna get clapped at level three we've got people diving you level three welcome and this was just so clean kanavi just tanking they know that 369 has the damage kanavi e auto q perfect literally just perfect from both i'm not dropping frames on the new internet connection okay they know that this guy has no flash good good setup from ching tian actually really like he just hit everything so i mean this guy has no ease just dead oh wow, that was actually good okay we got some games all right these guys are scrapping right off the bat and you see jackie love like hard trading seeing if they can get a potential kill here there's exhaust but there's talia coming as well hope should just be dead they can just they can just play this really slow there's nowhere that uh jdg can go it should be just easy it should be free they're not gonna even burn um vile i like that they don't they don't freak out they just sit behind the turret they don't don't burn the vial they just chill i mean i guess you could argue hope and missing should just completely leave the lane like really early they should know they're getting dove but i think the biggest issue is that they take this trade right here i, I mean the problem is that their wave is pushing away right so like it really sucks if you're playing zeri lulu and you have to give up multiple waves and experience that means that you're going to be level five to level six and you're not going to have control of the wave into Illusionami. i mean good luck bro yeah because they go for the bot play here from from top esports jdg is getting herald see them just trading sides of the map 369 doesn't really want to go bot yet so he's not going to even go bot so 369 is like if i go bot here like immediately i'm just winning dove by 
Lucian plus Vi. So instead, we're just we're playing for this top turret. We are just completely splitting the map here. I mean, this is just like, yeah, this is just how you play each side of the map. Here, I mean, they're trying to protect tier two. They backed Vi. They have Talia walking, so you could probably defend the tier two here. Oh, he's going for it. An exhaust. Yeah, he's just dead. All right, he went for the Bwipo. He went for the aggressive play on weak side. Ends up getting the exhaust, flash, and, and ults. But obviously, feeding the kill is not the best. He's thinking that he can get a one for one there. He can, yeah, just like make a play, get some tempo. Didn't end up working. Ooh, this could be good for, for JDG. This is really good. TN sold out for this. Yeah, Tian sold, sold himself out really hard with this play. Yeah, Jagulov is really fed. Look at Jagulov's items right now. Kind of crazy. And now he just goes on mid, and this is a problem with Lushinami. As soon as they get to mid, it's really doomed for the enemy bot lane or whoever's holding. I mean, I think the, the question is around third Drake because I feel like TS has the easier comp to play, but maybe JDG can get that, that insane flank. Then obviously Zeri scaling is insane. I mean, Chick Tien is like suicide pushing this wave. So this is something you'll see a lot in LPL. The top laner will like tell, tell his team, like I am pushing this wave, like I will die for this. And they'll make a decision based off what happens like when you're doing this without vision. So a lot of times what they'll do is they'll just try to trade onto like a mid turret. They'll try to just trade an objective right when the top laner is like doing something risky. I mean, Nar is just having to flash. He can maybe E over this. My man is on the run. Okay. Blows a flash here from Kanavi and Wukong ult, and they're just going to trade onto mid turret. I mean, I think that this is actually like good for TS though. It's pretty smart. This is this is something you'll almost never see in in NALCS, bro. NALCS they they will only push if they have vision. They don't view potentially dying for pressure good at all. He is just inting. No, no, he's literally just not inting. He's pushing this without vision, knowing that they can get pressure onto mid by doing this. They're like, like they know by, by him walking to this wave, he knows that they can potentially end up getting into like a bad situation. I mean, he could have potentially walked down and then flashed, but he didn't want to necessarily walk with his team because then like he thinks they're susceptible to engage. So in this situation, like the central trade that, that's going through your head is you are going to die for mid turret which is worth it nelson is actually the person that 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 taught me more about this because i didn't even know that this was like a thing to be honest <laughs> like i mean here they're like i mean sure you can you can go on to ching and sure they, they invest three people in another tp and then top lane is just getting top turret like these are all conscious decisions that are being made here this is like Kanavi trying to cheat the other side. So Kanavi's trying to cheat the other side. That is super risky from what what Kanavi just did there was super risky. They spawn Harold top. They got Harold. Spawn Harold top. They might even get a tier two off this. Yeah, I mean this is like completely worth it. This is very good from 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 uh, Ching Tian. You know, it's not like well, it's not very. Good. It's not like he did anything crazy. But this is just like what a good team does. Like nice, bro. You killed our zero two nar. Congratulations. You lost two turrets top and Harold. And he's got a Trinity Force as well. A lot of items we can talk about after, depending on how we go. Ult Shock Laser with Yagao. That's the plan. Okay, so that they're trying to flank this, but Knight is already here. Insta stopwatch. They're trying to go into Jackilov. 369 didn't get Jackilov. Kanavi is looking for Jackilov as well. Kanavi got Jackilov. It's huge. Wow, they're able, like, uh, uh, Yagao was able to stall so much time here. It is three Drakes, though. It ends up being one for one. Okay. It ends up being one for one and three Drakes for uh, Top Esports. So overall, they're still in control. They have flash on Wukong, flash on Lissandra. There's no sums on Jackie Love right now and no sums on Knight. So this is where you generally see JDG really trying to make some action happen. And sometimes you'll see people go too far and like, yeah, overly force, but they know this is a window. Oh my God. I mean, just look at like the, the pressure that you get from that. Oh, Jackie Love is kind of into here. Yeah, Jackie Love just sent it. Like the, the idea is that this is a time where you're allowed to like try to make a play when they're walking up. He just didn't realize that it was like everyone, you know, he, he just thought that it was Kanavi and missing and he's like, oh, I'm going to flip it here. If I can chunk him out, burn a ult, burn a flash, whatever, we're going to have an advantage of this Drake fight. Obviously, it's not, it's, it's fucking bad here. It's bad here. 369's got really insane position here now. Let's see if they start trying to, oh, look at that, dude. Tien has no vision and they just know where he most likely is. That's just big right there. 
Dude, I, I love seeing that. They, just, they didn't even have vision, but they know they're like, oh, this guy is sitting on a flank. Oh, actually, maybe they had this ward. Maybe they did have vision, actually. Sorry. Wait, no. That's that's a blue ward. Sorry, I couldn't see the color of the sword. I think that they just knew. I would have to rewatch it. Maybe maybe you walked over some ward elsewhere, but a lot of times they'll just suss out the enemy um, top laner on a flank. I mean, it's looking good right now for, for JDG. JDG is winning the fight. The guy was in the back line. Hope is doing work. Auto attack down Lissandra Ching Tien, the new top player coming back in and repping top I mean, they can't take Baron, or they, I mean, they can't take Soul here. They have to just base. Jackal was up. Did he say, I, I would have to rewatch, like, to see if he walked over any wards to get here. Yeah, no, they, they didn't have a, they didn't have a ward that I see on the map that would show them that he was here. I think that they just literally sensed it. They're like, okay, this guy's going to be sitting on a flank. Where is he? And they just queue into a brush. Oh, I found him. Jackie was such a troll. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that he burned his summoners before. So because he had no summoners, he wasn't able to reposition. The guy was looking for a flank again. I mean, the, the thing here is that JDG has a uh, flash on 369. 369 gets a big ulti. Oh my god, Jackie is just dead. Dude, Jackie Love losing his sums before the mid fight was just huge. Like, almost solo lost in the game. Oh, man. That's Baron. Well, Jackie Love Lushinami was running the whole game. Then he sent it once before a fucking Drake. And now the whole game is lost. Definitely don't think he was the issue. So here they just go for the, the pick in side lane because they have nothing else they can do. I mean, let's see if they're able to defend one of the inhibs. I mean, I don't think that it matters if you lose both. I think you just got to make sure you... Or if you lose one, you just got to make sure you don't lose both. Ooh, Hope actually could get caught here. Tiana's no ult though. Tiana's no ult for like five seconds. Yeah, Tian didn't have ult for, for five seconds there. If he had ult, 100% they go for that. Having like the Banshee's Veil plus the crown is a little bit weird. Ooh, they're just going into 369 again. Oh, wait, the Kanavi, the Kanavi ulti canceled Knight on the fucking wall. Kind of big. The clone ulti actually canceled it. Hey, Kanavi just... He spawns with seven kills. Oh, he's just dead. Yeah, Jackie Love literally... Like, the whole game was going really well for top. And then they just had that one mistake. Yeah, they had that one mistake. Or Jackie Love had that one int. And as soon as Jackie won, Love had that one int, the whole game just unraveled. All right, Draven ban. All right, what is the plan here for top? Aatrox? I wouldn't be surprised if they first picked Aatrox, honestly. Even if they went for that, I don't think it would be grief. I think Aatrox is so insanely high value in this best of five because neither of these guys are like big Fiora players. I assume what they're going to do here is they're going to ban Aatrox 4-5 because they went blue side, right? So maybe red side was the thing where they, they had something potentially lined up. They had like a counter pick they wanted to potentially do. It didn't line up. So what I think top esports is going to do is that they're going to go for the... Um, Aatrox ban 4-5. They'll ban Aatrox 4-5 themselves. And with that Aatrox ban 4-5, they will um, try to get Gnar for Wayward. And they'll play like Gnar into Kennen, which is just a better matchup. Like Wayward's just better at uh, Gnar generally. And they'll do it with an Aatrox ban here. Lushinami for Jackie Love. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you have the Talia pick coming in again. That's fine. It's not great here. It's not the end of the world. I just don't think that they have a better pick than this with um Lissandra band, Azir band, and Silas band. This is just their next their next up. So it ends up being the Siver Leona. Now, Mark is like a known Leona player. This is one of his best picks. So they're willing to play these types of lanes all day. Yeah, so Wayward is just taking the Nar blind. So they did exactly what we said. We got sidetracked into possible draft options, but they did what we said earlier on in the draft that they wanted to just ban Aatrox on blue side and then just blind pick the Nar. What draft do I like better this game? I mean, I generally like um, right side draft. I think it's pretty hard to flank. I mean, I don't know. Tian on Poppy is really good. So maybe he ends up like smurfing the fights, gets really big ults, and it separates JDG. Hey, Wayward, you had a year to learn Gnar. Like, can you get this champion under your belt? 
Okay, Hope. Yeah, Hope back. Okay, they go for the uh the ignite, trying to like burn Hope's cleanse. Hope has pots though. Should be okay. Because he wanted Hope's I mean, it's hard for Kanavi to do anything here. But Hope holds his nerf. He just tanks the ignite damage and will try and sustain it up. We're early here though in the mid lane. Orcs, it doesn't involve Mark, but it does okay. involve the This burn is flash like that. So Kanavi knows where the ward is now. So he could go for the angle here, but this takes so long as Vi. 12 second cooldown. So he's waiting in this bush for a while. They are still level two. Oh, he's back. 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 He end flashes. Free kill. Oh, clean. As well, but <coughs> Honestly, just clean. Okay, they get two flashes and heal with this Kanavi gank. Bro, they're ganking, bro. They make plays level three in the LPL. They do sh y Yagao, as soon as he burns his first flash, he's just dead the next time. Because look at his wave. And he has no TP. So as soon as he burns his flash, he's just dead. I mean, he could... Like, people will be like, oh, well, why did he walk up knowing that the enemy jungle was there? It's because his wave is completely Yeah, so here, like, Yagao has to, again, use his HP pool to actually reset the wave. And now the wave is reset enough that he doesn't have to walk up anymore. Yes, you can. I literally can't. It's not legal in Texas. I mean, I could do it with a VBS. Yes, I could do it illegally, yes. I know I can do illegal things. Will be making a oh, no. to... 369 is now going to be 369 is no uh ulti he should die here tn should just be able to knock him back i mean he should just yeah i think that's just a kill punish the no flash tn's been all over the map he's popping gaming for sure got the drake got the herald two ganks well three ganks mid get the kill around this uh bush here on yagao as well as the kill top and the kill level three mid not bad tn's kind of running the game and ts get hard out scaled uh i wouldn't say they get hard out scaled no zeri with an enchanter is going to be stronger from a pure ad carry standpoint than um sivir but like i don't think you worry about this game like oh shit, we got to do something now like we're getting hard out scale i don't think you, you care about it like that look at the goat here bro so annoying the charm missing out your gal not burning to death he did it. man tn is actually just a psychopath he knows enemy team is looking bot here and he just walks straight through the mid turret oh lee jungle diff goat diff it'll be a good series yep a good series so far just whatever on cyan i mean you have so much health anyway oh he didn't see it i mean i think that they could actually kill no knight can just kill i think Oh, maybe not. He has one R over the wall. He's can probably. Ah. Uh, okay, Kanavi flashed. Yagao is going for it. Yagao has ulti soon. He doesn't want to go for it. First turret going to wayward top lane. They got a kill on 369 off screen. <laughs> so let's let's see that. We were watching the bottom fight, but yeah, 369 died to Poppy. TN's just all over the place. And timing to get their first objective but, of the game. Oh. <laughs> or I mean, I guess you can win the war of attrition, but you shouldn't be able to actually kill. You should be like better in team fights, worse in um. Oh, they're giving it to Jackie Love. Oh, never mind. They're giving it to Knight. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the uh, gank we didn't see because we were watching mid during this. Tin walks in front. Phase rush. I mean, Jesus, bro. That didn't look very fun to play against. Okay, Knight kind of ran it. Big. I mean, it kind of sucks that the shutdown goes to the Scion, though. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, I mean, you'll take it. Like, he goes for the um, charm trade. And then he shouldn't be autoing. Like, the fact that he autos again after the charm trade is, is really criminal. And he just gets CC'd by the Q. The charm trade is good, and then he needs to back off, and then he can only walk up when he has charm back up. Yeah, he had he has treasure hunter here. Hope his treasure hunter. I feel like you need to commit four or five members mid to try and find an avenue into river to compete like they are now. Tien, he's trying to rotate around has to flat okay crowny is here oh sh we talked about treasure hunter on zeri yes crowny i know it, bro i said it was treasure hunter trust me i'm not leader man you don't have to flame me 
I know that 80 carries take treasure hunter. Please, Crowny, let me live. Also, this is a pretty good comeback play to make on, on JDG, just catching them out here. And the goat kind of gets caught here. Now, the thing is, Wayward has Hullbreaker, so he will take the top turret pretty quickly Let, let's let's see the value of hallbreaker here when he's able to hit this turret oh actually he's not wait is he able to hit it i mean can he just take the tier two just off this i mean it looks like he can dude hallbreaker bro okay hallbreaker value hallbreaker value gets the tier two let's see if he can take the other tier two bro i, I know how i literally just talk about like treasure hunter on on zeri one time i just like barely mention it and crowny Crowny just comes at spawns out of nowhere just starts talking in all caps yes of course he has treasure hunter every 80 carry takes treasure hunter i told you everyone takes it i apologize shouldn't have even questioned it i think you want him on the opposite side of the objective okay kanavi's going he went straight on to tn what okay i mean i guess it's fine for right now it looks okay hope is just yeah i mean hope is just so strong here but wayward's behind Jing Dong are ringing the doorbell. Oh my god. Jing Dong. <laughs> Jing Dong are ringing the doorbell. I like that. Jing Dong. JDG stands for Jing Dong Gaming. So. Jing Dong, they're ringing the doorbell. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Hysterics. I haven't heard that one before. Playing this mid game so well with so much confidence. Yeah, and I feel like with Dragon... Oh, GC's time might be cool. Yeah, but he's... Oh, 3 six, not, I mean, he's just ulting in. Wayward has to TP. Wayward has... Oh, wait. Uh, Knight has to TP, I mean. But, like, Knight is nowhere close to this. Okay, the Gnarl! Oh, my God. The Gnarl was huge. The Gnarl was mega there. That's... That's... Uh, it's Baron. Should be Baron. Huge. Huge f***ing Gnarl there. All right. Not bad. Okay, so they don't really have an easy way to zone Kanavi here. I wonder what they're gonna do with the jungle. They're just sending Mark and Knight over. They're just having Wayward. They're having Wayward literally suicide to stop him. Yeah, he can't get in. He can't get in. He's no flash. They they know he's no flash. See how they know he's no flash, bro? I feel like NA teams don't know when the person doesn't have flash. Legit. Like we don't time summoners or something. I don't know if like EU and NA just don't actually have the summoner timers, or like if a lot of teams are just lazy or some. Sh but it feels like they don't know when like a guy's flashes down for three minutes. Like, cool, he uses Q. He has no way to get in. Like, boom, that's it. Free Baron. It seems like it's a guessing game. It's like, but he has cosmic insight and CDR boots. So does he have flash? Does he not? I mean, it could be up now. It could be up in like two minutes. Like, we're not sure. Okay. Somebody has to kill the turret here, no? We're not killing the turret? I mean, okay, I guess they just go straight past it. All right. I thought Jackal would need to kill the turret there, but I guess not. Another kill. The base about to be open, and this Baron is a death threat from the top eSport. Transition over. Use the Baron minions on that. Push this one down. JNG gonna try and find an angle, but I don't know if it's there. Is TN yet again? Can I be low on mana? Is the ult oh, over Night on. face him in? Away you go, Hopus. JDG have none with an inner turret going down. Top beast boss seems they can't do any wrong anymore. Locked in their base. Well, I was gonna ask you, are we gonna even get there? Because with how they're playing, as way we get the top beast boss. No, people don't even know what Cosmic Insight does. Ah, uh, it's fine. Will Copium it? Okay, Wayward's dead. Kanavi takes those. Kanavi gets those. Numbers advantage. Kanavi gets over the wall. He's already used the cease and desist, but look towards missing as Top Esports try to re-engage. Not even ulties, but that's a good pick from JDG, and there is no in response. All right, so they're just going. They're just forcing Baron. They're trying to go Baron for Soul here. They just don't think they can fight the Soul fight. They're just trying to rush down Baron and just see what happens. So at least they get something. Oh man, they're getting. They're gonna get aced here. Okay, they got it. All right, let's see what ends up happening. All right, let's see if Zeri can just win the game down like a million gold. Oh, Zeri killed one? Wait, don't tell me Zeri carries this. No shot Zeri carries this. No shot. They better not end. They better not just end the game. Oh, wait, no, no, no. They have no waves. Oh, they have no waves. They can just go for uh. They get an eye soul here. There's no sh Okay, thank God. For a second, I thought they were going to end the game off that. Oh, I had a heart attack. I had to look at the waves. They should have just got... They should have just got soul here. They were like, but we shouldn't give anything. We're so far ahead. We win any fight. But do you win every fight? I mean, Jagalove is just autoing. Then he just gets polymorphed. I mean, like... I mean, he flashes forward and it just gets killed. I mean, he tried to kill Hope and Hope had shield. He had shield bell. Like, he got polyed. Like, God damn, bro. 
they've changed it, right? They are able to work. Dude, there's no shot that JDG keeps on winning games like this. If they win every game that they're down a million gold, it's just going to feel like RNG at MSI. You're like, they won, but like, did they win because the other team sucks? At closing, or did they just win because they're good? <laughs> Everyone was like, I mean, they they, they won because LPL is bad this split. T1, 37 wins, zero losses, absolutely fisting everyone. And we were like in a line. I was just with like people all over my shit. Like, it was just crazy. Okay, wait, 369 goes in. This is actually decent for, for um TS. They're able to hit front to back. They're actually able to kill here. Not bad. Not bad. It's actually looking like the best fight we've seen. He Wayward just jumped into the uh, Talia E. Okay, they they have to disengage from the Zeri because Zeri's getting stacks. Bro, he's got a million. Oh my God. Okay, they kited out the uh, Zeri. Oh wait, no, Zeri still has ulti on. Never mind. Sorry, they didn't kite out anything. My bad. My bad. Zeri still has ulti right now. He still has ulti. His ulti still hasn't fallen off, fallen off. Okay. He still has ulti. It's going to fall off now. He's finally going to have it fall off. Okay. Only lasted about 40 seconds there. Yeah, that's, that's a balanced champion. There definitely shouldn't be like a 20 second cap or like a 25 second cap. It should just last an infinite amount of time. Yes. I mean, that that's soul, bro. That is soul for top. It's big. Getting soul here is huge. Baron for soul. Yeah, I mean, I think JDG did like JDG ended up wanting to do that. Like JDG wanted to do that because they lost their scion, so it was just straightforward and five, and they had no zero, so they just had to try to answer. Oh, that guy is just fucking dead now, isn't he? Look at Kanavi just just pop out of the bush. Kanavi is just out of there. All right, you guys, all you guys, I am going home. All right, elder positioning. TS has got position on elder right now. How does JDG deal with this? They do have crab, but they know that. I mean, maybe they just send three six nine in. It's gonna be three, six, nine. I mean, 369 can face check. He doesn't have a war mugs though, does he? Probably doesn't have a war mugs on Scion. Guy does have literally 6k HP though. Okay, missing got chunked. Ricochets. I mean, Wayward is literally in the base. Like, Wayward's just hitting f tier three. JDG's got to make a play. Avia Gal just hitting mid. Oh my god, what the f is going on? TS is just going to end the game. What's happening? But Yagao can maybe keep on going mid. Maybe Yagao just keeps on going. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh! 369, he's caught. He has no flash. This is the engage. This is what they call an engage. All right, so now Hope already used his ult. So what they do now is they just back off from the Zeri. They back off from the Zeri and then they just do soul 4v5. Yeah, I don't think JDG can play the game anymore. Seems impossible to play the game. Okay, Kanavi just goes on tonight. I mean, Kanavi is just trying to 1v1 Knight on the side. They have no one that can actually damage Kanavi right now. Is Kanavi just solo killing him? Oh my god, what the f*** is going on? Kanavi is just soloing him. Okay, I mean, there's... I mean, it's kind of a banger. Oh, maybe Zeri can do something? I mean, J like, I mean, 369 is CP. 369 is CP soon. Oh my god, they killed Jackie Love. Wait a second. Wait a second. They just wait for 369. 369 is TP. Now, does he have his... I mean, he just changed to Flash from his Ignite. Does he have his Spellbook up? Because that would be absolutely huge if he did. Oh, my God. Tien is just risking his life. Bro, it is an absolute fist fight. Like, yeah, I mean, they're, they're fine. I think they're fine. I think they just walk in. They TP the Scion. Do they have a ward? Yeah, they have a ward. So, they TP the Scion. I think they're all good. Hope is about to have ulti again. I mean, this looks fine. Okay, they just kill Mark. And they just wait for Kanavi. Just wait for Kanavi. Now you got a 4v5. Bro, they just get Elder. <laughs> they somehow just one out Elder on this. All right, now now they just go over to... I mean, they need one person holding bot. The other, the other people going to Baron. I mean, I, I think they just put your gal bot, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Is your gal getting caught? Oh, Jesus. I don't even win Elder. <laughs> Zeri just did Zeri things, bro. It is what it is. Hey, Kanavi gets charmed. Kanavi has no GA. Oh, oh, Hope is dead, maybe. Oh, maybe he's not. Playing into Elder. They got his GA. 
Oh my god, they went into Elder? Wait, they did, they did it, they end. What the f***, bro? This is such a hype series. This is gonna be such a f***ing hype series, dude. Bro, they literally just want to fight versus Elder. J JDG versus Top. Try not to be an absolute banger challenge. Actually impossible. Jackie live on the Zeri. Hope on the Sivir. You've got the Lulu up. This has got to be a Lulu angle now. Or they could take Nautilus. This could be a Nautilus angle. Or an Ari angle, okay. So they take the Ari with the Vi. But now Lulu is up. The thing is, Knight could could take um yeah mid laner here. Probably, probably will just take the Lulu though. That's what we've been seeing in this draft so far. Unless we unless there's a adaptation. Wow, they go for the okay. They go for the Swain into the Vi Ari. So Yumi and Lulu are both banned now. What do we see as the supports? What is the support matchup? Nautilus is banned. I mean, Mark normally leans towards Leona in situations like this. But if he goes Leona, who knows? Maybe we get like a Tom Kench or something for the Sivir. So I assume that they want Leona on four, right? Because they just banned Braum. So that, that normally signals that Mark just wants to play his, his token Leona pick. Here's the question. Do you want to play a tank into Renekton? Do you just want to go Orin and say, f*** it, you guys get a, a Renekton pick? Or do you take the Aatrox into Renekton and not care? Because we've been seeing people take Aatrox into Renekton and not really care about the matchup anymore. Whereas before the mentality was that Renekton just completely dumps on Aatrox and GP for 369. Okay. I, I like the draft from uh, from JDG because the enemy team has to run into them. Enemy team has to run into them. So they get the Renata, which is good into the, all the enemy champions and GP. I think JDG out drafted pretty hard here. Ooh, the early, the level three gank, three camps at the top. Tien shows mid. So they can go for this top. They're trying to waste his E. From having to burn his flash, but meanwhile we go back to the top lane. Wayward versus Kanavi and friends. The bullying will return up here. All right. Doesn't have to use the Z here. Dodge. Might have to burn the flash in a oh my god, he stunned the wrong one. What? Wayward he stunned the wrong one. If he stunned 369, he might have been able to kill. Alright, Wayward, welcome back. Yeah, a little bit Holy. He wanted to E and he, he just misclicked his stun on on 369. He was gonna try to E. Yeah. E forward, flash E, get the empowered W, and then kill him, but he just misclicked. Ooh, Knight is pushing up, but he doesn't realize that the support is roaming here. He might have to flash. Yeah, he just flashes over. Tien's looking for blue, but Renata's moving over. This should not be Tien's blue. No shot. No shot. He just gets this blue. Wait, Kanavi's just taking his... What the f*** is going on here, bro? What the hell? Nah. Nah, this is just some... I don't even know what's going on in the jungle. Bro, they're both on the opposite side of each other's jungles, just taking the buffs. Not this is literally the most this is either the most zero head or five head jungling i've ever seen in my life wait did it is that what ha ended up happening i mean it just looked like he meant a w369 and just wasn't able to okay they're going for the all-in here doesn't end up working all right hope just turns it all right so looking to go on to uh 369 here yeah he's dead he's dead 369 is dead Knight can move over, grab the skill. Tien takes red. Looking for a kill on 369 here. 369 is literally zero vision. 369 can't see anything here. And he has no flash. So, wayward with flash, they, I mean, they could just dive him. I think they're gonna go for him. And as you talk about the wave set up so big, yep, he's dead. E, ulti, auto, boom. Done. Can't hate on that. Can't hate on that. Bro, Wayward is like so ridiculously far ahead. It's show gold. Literally show gold right now. Two kills, 30 CS. First turret. All five plates. This motherfucker is rich. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty hard to play the game right now for JDG. I mean, they they do have like what you'd say is a better draft here. Because they've like thematically they have Renata into champions that want to run into them, right? So that's good. And then you have the GP versus versus um Renekton, which is supposed to be uh solid it also works well with the identity of wanting to like kite back and just like barrel people to come into you oh man he's burned his flash that was not good but like realistically you look at it it doesn't look like like jdg is going to be able to actually 
have an advantage in that type of team fight until like way later on until they have multiple items on on uh gp because right now renekton is unkillable for this game until sivir has items until yagala has items renekton is just a complete 1v9 champion but like gp doesn't become a champion until level 13 outside of lane i mean he's got his boys coming maybe they can do something uh charm missed i don't know i don't know i mean maybe they ult let's see it okay kill for you gal oh good charm okay you got with two kills on the board knight on the back line though it's fine this is probably the best thing that could happen and ts is taking this fight bot they think this is the best time for them to fight jackie love with the cleanse okay ts uh i mean they made a play top that was a little bit over aggressive and then they see the enemy mid laner um top they know there's no answer that can happen no gp ult, nothing to answer the bot lane play and then they go aggressive bot lane i hope popped ult for that i lost bot turret as well here hey they're going out to kanavi kanavi ults they have a good they, they have a really good um ulti here from renata oh the reset didn't come in tp on the herald from the renekton i believe yep good q for missing good peel not gonna be able to stop the charge here they probably just lose the turret oh okay hey, they're trying to just keep things so yugao can move they're literally just the reason why hope goes forward here is he's trying to wait for yugao to move so yugao is moving now and he has three ult charges so let's see if he's able to catch anyone ult number one ult number two ult number three doesn't kill him yet doesn't have flash yet but i mean there's nowhere for him to run really i mean i guess that they they're worried about um yeah people respawning mumu being here okay so you got uses three ult charges and ends up flashing so it ends up being like a delayed flash for flash trade between hope and um and knight something jdg is fine in terms of game state if charm here oh charm ends up hitting tn because uh wayward plays well here but yeah they're walking into gp ult G like the problem is gp is not here so this is a straight 4v5 but they do kill tn they'll kill tn okay hope gets a kill you guys in there i mean wayward can't play the game this is like such a horrible location to fight in but zary is just zarying oh my god it turned okay jackie love jackie love did it that is such a terrible spot for um for top esports to fight by the way fighting in this type of choke versus like re sivir Renata is really fucking risky, but I guess Zarya was just able to do Zarya things at the end there. Like this is just such a hard place to fight, but the reason they're fighting is because they they just see it as a four v five. I mean, it is just a four v five. Yeah, he does. Okay, so it's just a visual bug. So he didn't have ult there. Could have ulted earlier potentially, I guess. Okay, maybe they can get on tonight. Knight has no flash. Knight is actually inting here. I think Knight is just dead. Charm not dodged away into the demon ascension, but Knight's gonna die. Mark hit a bandage toss. And Mark hit the bandage toss, but I think they can still chase low. Okay, Yagao gets a another flash there. Not bad. Mm, I don't know if they take it though. Seems kind of hard. Yeah, they're not gonna do it. They don't have ults here. This is actually smart by um, JDG. Not going for the Baron here because the enemy team has TP and they don't have ults. Like knowing that they don't have the ability to turn really easily. We'll see. We'll see how much out drafting really matters here. But missing is waiting for backup before he moves in. But there's no TP on JDG. They have to walk into this one blind. And yeah, they have to walk in. Three items. If top esports get this Baron, the game flips yet again. Is not going to be stopping them. Kanavi jumps in. But it's okay, he's just going straight on to Jackie Love. Good charm. He charmed the Sedge there. Yagao can't finish it though. Yagao can't finish Jackie Love here. It's straight up a 4v5. It's straight up a 4v5. The golden left hand. Okay, they're fine for right now. Goes for the charm. He's just walking out. They're waiting for 369 to like be here all the way. He is. Knight is in trouble. Knight is just dead. I think Knight is just dead. Oh, he got the charm? You got hit the charm here? Okay, about as chaotic as a quesadilla. What the f 
<laughs> what did that even? What does that mean? Wanted to commit to the fight, and Mark, he might be caught. You know what? It isn't a movement, but without ulti, without flash, he puts the thumbs up. And all right, he's out. He's out. Okay, man, we've got blood in this game. Twenty kills at at twenty four minutes. It is what it is. Yeah, they're gonna know information given away, so JG can start pushing in mid. Oh, he gets the money. Oh, he got onto Yagao. Yagao has to ult out though. So they trade ulti for Yagao's ulti. Yagao jumps on in. There's a cannon barrage too. Yagao gets the charm. Okay. The gets the charm. They go into Sejuani here. They buy ult the Sejuani here. I mean, they kill him, but I mean, at what cost? Oh my god, the damage from the Renat ult? I mean, they just need to get. Yeah, okay, they got the reset here. Jackie Love gets charmed again? In the heat of the fight, gets hand shook, gets golden, but Yagao waiting for him on the other side. He finally goes down. Jackie Love dies. Holy, it's a scrap. Wait, Vi just like 1v9 the fight or what? <laughs> like, Vi is just a fucking broken champion or, or what's going on? Like, Vi just killed the whole enemy team. Hello? I mean, the Renato ult is su such high value here. Look at the Renato ult. Oh, he ulted right, right after the guy died. Look at what Yugao does right at the end. It's initially... I mean, Kanabi literally just 1v9 the fight. Like, I don't know what to say. is everything for JDG. Ah, we're gonna see here, right? Jackie Love feeling it, thinking he can go in, start to take the fight with the charm. Instantly coordinated with Kanavi going in with that Q. Midwave in, they have such good vision control around this mid lane, but now the oh, oh my God, Kanavi's just going for it. Jesus, I mean he's holding onto it, but like, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know about this. And he's got no GA. Uh, I don't know. Oh my God. Oh, he ends up living. That seemed a little bit in from Kanavi. I mean, he's tanky. He's not that tanky. Hmm. Yigao is no ult now. Did Kanavi just int the entire game? I mean, Zeri has no ult herself. So generally, Sivir will out damage Zeri if they both have no ult. Mark is going for the engage. He's got the flank. Mark is... Oh, okay. Flashed it. Mark has sealed the deal with Jackie Love getting 369. A double man. Wait, I mean, it might be fine. It might be fine for JDG. You gal? You gal? You gal? Jackie Love's out of the fight. How do they win it? How do they win it? You gal, you are fing cracked, my man. Fight. And we see what you are fing cracked, you gal. Hey, respect. He's dead. He's dead. Jackie Love is 100% dead. No way he can live. Fight ult soon. Jackie Love should just be dead. Well, he's yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Least, he's oh, up. He's they still chase. They still chase. He's dead. Yeah, Jackie Love, stop moving. Kanami beats him in the face. Are they gonna try to end or do they go Baron? This could be their game. Oh wait, is the game just over? I guess. Like, oh, 12 seconds. 10 seconds. All right, we'll see. We'll see. I guess they just end. I guess they just end. Oh, they just end here. And now moving to match point, Ding Dong Gaming. All right, not bad. Look at Gao just walk off like a Chad. <laughs> Is that bad? Oh, God, it looks so crazy. I don't know if I can send it off, bro. I do not know if I can send it off. Yeah, Gao, more like your goat. Oh, all right, whatever. We'll send it, bro. We'll send it. Zeri, first pick by TES. No Vi though. No Vi in this game. The Lulu taken away for Lulu Sivir. I mean, Ari loses value in the game without Vi. But it doesn't seem like Knight's been able to come up with a good answer. I mean, maybe he just takes Lissandra. He just opts into it. So, f*** it. F*** it, Lissandra. Yeah, so Sivir is on three guaranteed, which means that you could actually do a couple different things. You could take, like, a Pryo top laner here and then ban out counters. You could take, like, Aatrox for Wayward or something. You could take Aatrox, and then you could ban out Renekton because they have to go Sivir on three in your mind. I mean, they don't have to. Like, they could go Aphelios or Cog or some other champion with Lulu, but they kind of are expected to. Ooh, they're taking the Renata. But, I mean, the Renata... I think it's kind of bad because if you take Renata here, enemy team could just draft something that Renata isn't great into, which would essentially just be things that don't have to hard engage. So if you take Lissandra, I mean, you could... Oh! That would be fucking hype, by the way. Nah, he's not doing it. He's just gonna go say, all right, okay, I got a little too hype. Okay, right, so you get the Orn ban here, which makes you think that JDG's just going Renekton on four. I mean, maybe they just go Aatrox on four and say, fuck it, but I would, I would think that JDG is looking for Renekton here. I would think it's Renekton on four. And then Wayward will probably just go Nar. And then the jungle still haven't been picked on either side. Interesting. Will we get a fifth pick? Anything spicy from Kanavi? I mean, what could he go? This could be a Morgana jungle angle. This might be Morgana jungle from JDG. That, that might be why they're saving for a fifth pick here. I mean, Trundle is whatever here. I mean, I, I think it's I think it's a Morgana pick. Do they, do they actually go the, the Nilly? I don't know. 
And the thing with I don't know. I, I, I felt like they were going to go more Ghana jungle. Yep. He's like, can I please play Nidalee? Like, no. Pick a dog jungler. Really? Is he really not going to go Morg here? He's smiling. Oh, Pantheon. Okay. Pantheon doesn't seem like it would be that good here. I don't see why the Pantheon is being picked in this game. JDG themselves want a game five? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that the... Um, the Pantheon pick is just sus. Like they don't. I mean, I guess they can make plays with Yagao getting first move. So like, if Yagao is able to ever get push, I mean, number one, they do have the ability to kill mid. Po uh, like pre pre level six, they have the ability to kill mid. They're able to get Yagao ahead. And they can move Pantheon and Ari to side lanes and try to make plays and dives. That could be a thing. Hey, just the flash in, flash or flash, or sorry, uh, flash for cleanse. Uh, what I meant to say. Okay, now it's... Now, okay? Did Hope need to cleanse? I mean, he what? He didn't need to cleanse. Okay, 369 is just dead here. I mean, Tien's on the board. Ganked mid, ganked top. 369 should not be dying to this because he knows the enemy jungler can be top. Should at least wait for his jungler to be closer. In order to do this play, this Pantheon next and gets ahead as well. It could be devastating. And you can see the top esports know this advantage. You can see Still looks like it's really far off. All the time. Yeah, just mute again. Hope is just dead. No flash on him. I mean, Tien is just like taking over the entire fucking game. The goat is literally just going off. I just feel like there's just a lot of like dead time. Okay, they go on to Knight here. They get the charm that's good. But he is old. I mean, okay. Kian has flash. Bro, Trundle at level five. Trundle at level five just beating some ass. Holy, that's the goat. Yeah, I mean, this is why a lot of people don't like Pantheon is you actually just don't win skirmishes that hard. This The main goal of Pantheon is to get level six and then ulti side lanes like with your mid lane move. That's what you want. But like in direct fights like this, like think about how little Knight actually does here. Like Knight does like no damage. And what happens? Tien just beats him Okay, they get March Flash with the Pantheon ult, but that's not good enough. It's like if you play Nocturne and you only get um, Flash with your Nocturne ult, never a good thing. Tien's just here. Oh, that pillar was... It was late, no? Like, didn't he cast that after the guy flashed? Uh, let me, I would have to see it again. No way with Pantheon you can contest this. It really puts JDG in a bad spot. And I'll be jumping in. There's a handshake that kicks it off. There's the tomb down as well. Taking a lot the of charm. Uh, oh, it was too. It was a little too early on the charm. I mean, it's kind of tough because if you don't charm then, then he could just take his E like a mini E and, and survive. But if you charm like that early, then he gets away with his E. He can take it later. Who am I cheering for? Uh, I don't know. I guess JDG slightly. I think JDG winning a title would be pretty sick. Also feels like a significant note. Oh, wait. Is there oh, he just eat. He just eat. He griefed. Jackie loves Cassidy. That's big. That's both summoners for just heal. And ults, obviously. Even as Renekton to a degree, sure you have two dashes, but you don't really have an exit path. I remember this. Let's bully him. All right. I mean, let's see what happens. I mean, maybe they can kill uh, Tien here. They're all going on to Tien. The goat is just alive. Yeah, that looks that looks playable. Yeah, Top Esports break the mid-turn. I mean, I, I just feel like JDG is not going to be able to play the game soon. Maybe the Lulu will make a difference, but I seriously think we're just going to game five. I think we're just getting to silver scrapes here. Oh, they're just diving right onto Yagao. Yagao's able to ult. Kanavi is beyond dead, no? Wait, Kanavi actually lived for a while with Gorjigger, but I mean, he's just dead. They don't have pressure top. They don't have pressure bot. They don't have pressure mid. Uh, I think it's unplayable for JDG, but we'll see. They made comebacks happen before. And I really wanted a game. I mean, they tried the Pantheon pick. It just didn't work out. Look at look at Tien's items. Is he going warm ups here? And Renekton can out sustain a Lissandra. So lane setup is favorable for JDG right now, I think. All right, they're going for it. It hit the charm. Uh, but it's so hard to go into Renato, man. It is literally just so hard to go into Renato. At least they got some subs before 
Drake? Copium? I don't. Well, I won't have time to do it recently. Okay, Tien is no flash. They can kill him. All right, Tien dies. Tien dies, and it goes to Hope, which is the the person that you need to have the gold right now for JDG. I don't think realistically you're going to be able to carry this game with lethality. I think if you build lethality, you're just gonna get completely one shot here. Hey, they actually just waste ultis here. They realize they can't make a play. I mean, this would be third dragon for JDG, which is solid. I mean, maybe Sivir Lulu can just carry this. I feel like Top Esports kind of stalled out the game where they didn't necessarily need to. Hey, Kanavi blocks some damage. Not bad. Knight gets an insane flank here. They didn't see him at all. They, they literally have no idea he's here. He walked through off a wave and there was no vision inside mid. But now they see him, obviously. 369 checks him. Because 369 is trying to get an angle too. But like, notice how like wide JDG is. Like how they line up like this. Hey, Knight actually brings cleanse here. Stalling time to the back line. Has stopwatch. I mean, Zeri is not gaming yet. Wait, Sivir is just killling everyone? Wow, Knight stalled so much time, but Sivir just killed everyone in the back line. Holy, that's just Baron. Wait, that's just Baron. Damn, wait. Top just... Top just... Are they going to lose this game too? Okay, flash for flash. That was a quick flash from Wayward. How are they winning? Because they have Sivir Lulu and they didn't get... Like, that engaged on? I mean, I guess Sivir Lulu just like literally 2v5 the fight. All right, Tien, calm down. Calm down. Don't be too much of a goat. Oh, he hits the, the charm onto Knight. Knight gets a stopwatch. This is going to be terrible for JDG. I think. Maybe not. I mean, Hope is just doing so much fucking damage. Holy shit. So JDG just with the turret and getting out. And this is the My God, dude, Sivir, Sivir is so crazy. Yeah, maybe the, maybe the rest of the team comps don't matter. If you have Lulu, Sivir into Zeri, Renata, doesn't matter if the rest of your team comp needs to run in. The Sivir will just kill everyone. Okay, they get Yigao's flash or Yigao's ult, I mean. Hope flashes in. He's walking in. They think it's a decent fight for Jackie Love. Decent positioning. Well, I mean, I guess that's just Drake for, for top, no? Or uh, Drake for JDG, no? Like, top can't fight it. They have TP. Maybe they go Baron. They're looking to turn. Gao is no ult. Going for 369. Knight is out. Kanavi kind of soloed him. Hostile takeover comes in. Nar gets a huge ult onto Hope. Hope is dead. Hope is dead. Hope is dead. Hope is dead. Oh, it's just gonna be a game five angle. They can end. They can end. Right? Oh, they have to go with midwave. 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 I think they can end. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. They don't think they can. They're just gonna take Drake and Baron. Maybe half Wayward go solo uh Baron. Or uh, Drake, I mean, and the rest go Baron. God damn. Wayward was able to get onto Hope. Hope has no flash here. This is this is what happened, because Hope ended up flashing on list, so he has no flash here, and then they just end up being able to flash on him. They're trying not to group up too much. Jackal was playing over the wall here. And it's just the it's just the fact they're able to get onto Hope LPL best season ever. Yeah, this this might be the best LPL season ever. I, I would agree with that. Oh my God, he's stuck. Three six nine is just stuck in the turret by the pillar. The goat pillar. That is the goat pillar right there. Let's go, dude. Your pillar is a fucking slow and a mini knockback. Tian's pillar is an eight second fucking stun. Actual goat pillar your pillar versus the pillar she tells you not to worry about right there bro look at this pillar oh oh enjoy the game oh, have a good one my friend they just accept it and it feels like everything is changed okay they got out the ult that's that should be good enough oh look at look at another goat pillar right here they just gotta be careful of the okay so mark just mark just flashed and ulted the choke. He just ult flashed the choke. Hope is super low. Hope is getting his ass beat by a super minion. Oh, no. This is over. This is over. Silver scrapes. Don't like by Chief Keef. 
Dracula picks up your gal. Hope flashes over. And Top Esports write the script themselves. Holy five games, of course, man. Of course it's five games. LPL doesn't disappoint. Yeah, guys. How do you guys feel about this final? Is this a little bit of a banger? Is it another five game final between JDG and Top? No shot, right? No shot we would just get double five game finals or five game uh, winner bracket final into LPL final. It is simply a region diff. Your gal gets Azir in the final game. The Trundle blind from Kian. Do we see any type of answer into the Trundle? He probably wants to see if he can get a Morgana game and maybe they full ban out Kanavi in the fourth and fifth bans. I'm so sad they banned Silas. One, two, three, all five games. The night tax. They're paying the night tax. No shot. Victor versus Azir in the final game. That's what we're going for tonight. All right. I'll take it. They banned the Orin themselves. You're going to be an Aatrox here? I mean, Nara's banned. I think it's going to be an Aatrox from JDG. Wow, did they go Sedge? If they go Sedge, it's a million percent an Aatrox from 369. I'd be so surprised if they didn't go Aatrox. It's got to be Aatrox. Just lock it. Just lock it. We all know it's Aatrox. What is the jungle pick going to be for Kanavi, though? Will they go Morgana? Belveth in game five? Are you really going to pull out the Belveth here? I don't think Belveth is really good into what we're seeing. Is he going to do it? Wow, he's doing it. Belveth in game five. I mean, look, that takes balls to do. I respect it. I don't think it's that easy to play Belveth here. Holy shit. Belveth in game five. Damn, dude, it's such a ballsy pick. I just think that it's hard to exist as Belveth in team fights into what this is. But early game, I think top, uh, top esports should be on the defensive. Should be hard for them to contest first Herald unless like bot gets really far ahead or unless Trundle gets some like really insane ganks off the front line for JDG sounds like a nightmare but they do have Lulu and they do have um I mean Aatrox can frontline it's not like Aatrox is not a frontliner like a lifesteal tank frontliner it's not as good as some other top laners but yeah I mean I think that into what the enemy team has could be fine Velvet doesn't go Krugs here because of the top lane wave state he's fine no really fine. The damage. And as you said, Kanavi moving up as Tien walks back towards River. He will Tien be sees him. Oh, well. oh, double. They can go for Wayward, I think. I think they should go for Wayward here. Yep. Good, 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 good. Well played from JDG. Because uh, Sejuani Q is still down from the gank. It's like a long ass cooldown. It's like 20 second cooldown. I mean, eight minutes. Normally, you'll expect JDG to full rotate here. So JDG is basing. Let's see if they just full rotate. I think that they probably should, considering it is a Belveth. And Belveth is like so OP. I think that you sell out really hard for Harold when you have Belveth. Such a broken champion if, you, if you're able to do it. There he moved all the way over. Let's see if, if JDG still want to fight. Like JDG looked like they don't want to give this for free. Uh, hope is too late. Mm. Oh, missing gets hooked. They might be able to fight off this. Good ulti from Azir. Oh my god, Belvet doesn't get a reset though. Hope can't can auto. The wall was up instead. Wow, that no one died. Oh, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Adding the pressure yeah. in with TP. It's, it's really interesting because, I mean, it's going to gain some advantages, but with how valuable the Herald is... Oh, oh, oh he got cancelled. Yeah, the pillar cancelled him there. That's MVP performance is way we get over the wall. You got all these oh, things. man. The cancel from the pillar. He cancelled E with the pillar and Belvet just walked in and died? Hello? Game five. What did Kanavi just do? Why did Kanavi just walk in and die? Wait, Kanavi literally was just not looking at his character or something. No shot. Bro, he cancelled Azir E with pillar. Even look at bot side, right? Like... And it, and it might have just won them the game. I mean, they can't fight this at all. 369 is trying to, but like, there's no chance they can fight this. Just super greedy. They're trying to like stall for Gao to be here, but they're just, they look like they're just unraveling. I mean, this is kind of how it looked in the last game five, but then they ended up winning. So who knows? Wait, what did Kanavi do here? Okay, I want to just look at Kanavi. That is such an insane pillar. Like you have to get the knockback on it. You can't just pillar like in his path. You have to get the knockback or it. Yeah. I thought they, they only showed the end of him walking in. I didn't I didn't think they showed the beginning. Just the replay. Blind is yeah, maybe maybe I missed it. Oh, 
defining a pick golf, but luckily JDG's the final. I don't mind people and flaming me if I'm actually wrong in this golf situation. Golf. Yeah, you know, we can I don't like the, the thing that I ban people for is when they flame me when I'm correct. I feel like that's super cringe. Like, that's annoying. All right, they're keeping behind right here. Tien is forced to flash. I mean, it was a little bit of an overcommit, but they're trying to do it here because they have, um, because they have T, because the top laner was top, so they wanted to get the TP. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just Tien's flash. It's not that big of a deal. And you guys actually just behind this game. Ooh, they're on to Kanavi. Kanavi's just dead. finishes the job. Kanavi is down and Belfast okay. will not be eating tonight with a banquet off the menu. Man. Oh, man. It's tough. Okay. Wait. Big Gore Trigger? Uh, doesn't matter. They don't have damage yet. They can't win. Can't win at this point. Uh, Belveth looks just unplayable here. Oh, he flashed that. Man, I tell you what, Wei was coming into his own Yeah, I mean, it probably wouldn't have hit him, but Mark would have been able to get onto him, so. Probably has to flash anyway. I mean, his champion is useless right now. I mean, Wayward has TP. They're trying to, like, get the TP out, but they can't even do that. They can get the Azir turret and transfer it into Drake. There's no reason for Tien to be here, though. Tien kind of trolled there. I wonder if JD... So JDG just looks like they don't care about the, uh, the Drake. They're just going to keep on pressuring Baron. I think that's tough, though. I mean, they're trying to rush it with the Azir. This is kind of like, it feels like desperation. They don't have to be desperate, though. Oh my god, Hope walked in front and spell shielded the Sidrani ult. That was nice. And they lose their mid tier, too, but this could have been way worse. I mean, they're going to. Yeah, I mean, they're going to just lose control of Baron completely, but got Mark's flash. That's something. We get this dance. Well, this time I mean, Kanavi cannot tank this, can he? <laughs> Bro, Kanavi is like 1 HP. Hello? We, there's no shot he's allowed to do this. I mean, they're trying to, like, bait them in so that 369 is the flank, but they just can't walk through the Sivir ult. Ah, oh, 369 is just dead, isn't he? Oh, Jagula flashed into the wall. Ah, oh, but he's an AD carry, so it's just a reflex. Still chasing up though, even without the ulti. The TP? Nine should die as Baron stops. Oh, the TPs? Time in time in time in time in time in time. Oh, he got out. Holy, wait, why did he TP there though? Seven dimensional chess happening yet again. Kanavi on the back of the pit wants to get the smite. Why would jumping on in? Tien running forward. Okay, he gets it. I mean, he got the bank. Oh, the flash. Jagulov's dead. Jagulov into the whole game. He flashed into wall and into the whole game, but it's okay because it's a reflex. On to Wayward. Oh, man. Oh, Hope got him. Wait, Hope is just a fucking monster, bro. Yeah, Hope is just a fucking monster. Hope is actually putting his team on his back. This is actually like one of the best AD carry games I've seen in a while. Like, he's literally just played perfect for the entirety of the game almost. Like, maybe you could criticize his, um... So here, the, the reason why Yagal flashes is just in case Jackie love E'd. I'm, I think he was unsure if he had E, because if he E's back a little bit, maybe he would be out of the range of pushing, so he just flashes to guarantee. Normally, you only flash when you're against, um... When you're against Flash yourself, because then he can't Flash out of the range, but solid here anyway. Ah, uh, man, Hope is so big. Wow, 369 is actually just risking the wave. He just thinks that, he thinks that he'll be able to survive this. Not sure if it's correct, but he thinks he'll be able to survive because he has a Maw. Kanavi brought out his pick in game number five. He's taken turrets at 369. Pretty hard to kill. Takes a while. They get him. All right. But it is still gold to JDG. I mean, they get two turrets for 369 dying. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'll keep on cheering on whatever team is losing. All right. Now we root for top. Right. Hope is like so strong, though. They're just going straight down mid. They're going straight down mid. Ignoring the Drake. Going straight down mid. It's only third Drake. It should be fine. They just don't want to end up getting like sandwiched too hard. Oh my god. Hope to walked into them i mean they got they got um a zero they got a victor ult for silver ult yeah they just force them out so they like fight him there to force them out and then they just go for the inhib it shouldn't be too crazy about this inhib though oh jackie love jackie love just sent it jackie love just into the whole series jackie love just into the whole series man jackie love ended everything that is the Jackie Love we remember. ADC diff. Actually, ADC diff. Give him the. F is that a Penta? Uh, that's a trip. That's a Quadra. They fucking did it, bro. They actually did it. Jackie Love ran it completely.
Holy. ADC diff. That was such an ADC diff. Look at Jackie Love. He's like, yeah, I can set. I ran it the f down. I entered the sh out of the series. He actually ran it the f down, guys. Oh, man.